my holiday to Bali. I was in Senio's high school when I went to Bali Island for the first time. I went there with my teacher and my friends. It was our school study tour. My teacher, my classmates, and I were in the same bus. We left our school at 8 a.m. The journey from Patti to Bali took one day. I was so exhausted because I had to sit along the journey. Actually, it was an enjoyable journey because I spent time with my friends. We did many things together, like playing games, laughing, and joking. I was tired but I didn't mind. All of my treadness was gone when we arrived at the Sanner Beach, where our hotel was located. It was still early momming, we saw a beautiful sunrise. After watching the sunrise, we were driven to the hotel to take a rest and to have meals. After that, we went to the Nusa Dua beach. There were so many activities to do there, like parasailing, banana boat, and so on. But, I chose to go to a little island which had a lot reptile. There were snakes, turtles, etc. The scenery was so beautiful because it was in the middle of the sea. Next, we went to Garuda Wizanu Kenkana, GWK. There were two amazing statues. They were Wizanu and his bird, called Garuda. After a very long journey, through the land and the sea, we finally got back to the hotel. Although we tired, we all happy. We could not wait to visit other beautiful places. What are thunder and lightning? Lightning is a sudden, violent flash of electricity between a cloud and the ground, or from cloud to cloud. A lightning flash, or bolt, can be several miles long, it is so hot. Wath an average temperature of 34,000 centigrade, that the air around it suddenly expands with a loud blast. This is the thunder we hear. Lightning occurs in hot, wet storms. Moist air is driven up to a great height. It forms a type of cloud called cumulonimbus. When the cloud rises high enough, the moisture freezes and ice crystals and snowflakes are formed. These begin to fall, turning to rain on the way down. This rain meets more moist air rising, and it wants the friction between them which produces static electricity. When a cloud is fully charged with this electricity, it discharges it as a lightning flash. Gawai Day or Gawai Dayak Gawai Day or Gawai Dayak is a festival celebrated in Sarawak, it is both a religious and social occasion. Gawai Dayak literally means, Dayak Festival. Dayak visit their friends and relatives on this day. Those far away receive greeting cards. The mode of celebrations varies from place to place. The festival is celebrated on the 1st of June every year, however, it actually starts on the evening of 31% of May. Gawai Dayak celebration may last for several days. On the evening of 31st of May, the ceremony to cast the greediness spirit away, Mul Antu Rua, is held. Then, Offering ceremony, miring, is conducted. Thanking good for the good harvest, guidance, blessings and long life is done through sacrificing a cockerel. At midnight spirit welcoming procession, Nalu Patera, is held. Then, the celebration gets merrier as people start singing and reading poems. On the 1% of June, the homes of the Dayaks are open to visitors. Cockfighting, blowpipe skill demonstration, and Najat competitions are held. It is also during this time of the year that many Dayak weddings take place. Today, it is an integral part of Dayak social life. It is a Thanksgiving day marking good harvest and a time to plan for the new farming season or activities ahead. Kangaroo A kangaroo is an animal found only in Australia, although it has a smaller relative, called a wallaby, which lives on the Australian island of Tasmania and also in New Guinea. Kangaroos eat grass and plants, they have short front legs, but very long, and very strong back legs and a tail. These are used for sitting up and for jumping, kangaroos have been known to make forward jumps of over 8 meters, and leap across fences more than 3 meters high. They can also run at speeds of over 45 kilometers per hour. The largest kangaroos are the great grey kangaroo and the red kangaroo, adults gross to a length of 1.60 meters and weigh 90 kilos. Kangaroos are marsupials. This means that the female kangaroo has an external pouch on the front of her body. 
A baby kangaroo is very tiny when it is born, and it crawls at once into this pouch where it spends its first five months of life. Antibiotic Antibiotic is a drug produced by certain microbes. Antibiotics destroy other microbes that damage human tissues. They are used to treat a wide variety of diseases, including gonorrhea, tonsillitis and tuberculosis. Antibiotics are sometimes called wonder drugs because they can cure diseases such as meningitis, pneumonia and scarlet fever. But when the antibiotics are overused, are misused. These drugs make a person sensitive being attacked by a superbug. Antibiotics do not always distinguish between harmless and dangerous microbes. If a drug destroys too many harmless microorganisms, the pathogenic ones the dangerous microbes will have a greater chance to multiply. This situation often leads to the development of a new infection called suprainfection. Extensive use of some antibiotics may damage organs and tissues. For example, streptomycin, which is used to treat tuberculosis, has caused kidney damage and deafness. Resistance to antibiotics may be acquired by pathogenic microbes. The resistant microbes transfer genetic material to non-resistant microbes and cause them to become resistant. During antibiotic treatment, non-resistant microbes are destroyed, but resistant types survive and multiply. To avoid the side effect of antibiotics, you'd better not urge your doctor to prescribe antibiotics. Keep in mind that antibiotics are only useful for bacterial infections, and have no effect on viruses, so they cannot be used for chicken pox, measles, and other viral diseases. The Japanese Traditional House the Japanese traditional house made of wood is expected to last about 20 years before having to be repaired or rebuilt. Each year it is depreciated. The interior design is what really sets the Japanese traditional house. With the exception of the entryway, genkan, the kitchen, dadokuro, the bathing room, sento, and the toilet, benjo, the rooms in a Japanese traditional house does not have a designated use. A room can easily be a living area, a bedroom, a dining room or any combination. Large rooms are partitioned by fusuma, sliding doors made of wood and thick paper. The paper used for fusuma is called washi. These sliding doors can be removed whenever a larger space is needed. In yard traditional houses, there was one large room, or ima, living space, that could be divided as needed. The smaller rooms like kitchen. Bath and toilet were small extensions to one side. Ruka, or wooden floored hallways, follow the edge of the home. Windows are made of wood and shoji paper, which is thin enough to let the light shine through. Even Japanese modern houses tend to have one traditional Japanese room, called a washitsu. This room has tatami mats on the floor as used in Japanese traditional house. Tatami are thick straw mats covered with stitched, woven rushes. Tatami are smooth and firm enough to walk on, while making a sleeping surface more comfortable than wood or stone. The Genkin is usually a step below the level of the rest of the house. When people enter the home, they leave their shoes in the Genkin, pointed toward the door so they only need to slip them on when they are ready to go out. Indoor shippers are often worn inside the house. The kitchen in most traditional Japanese homes will contain a stove with a very small oven and broiler and an electric refrigerator. Counter space for food preparation and a sink are also located in the kitchen. The bathing room contains a tub and is often waterproof. An adjacent area is available for showering. The Japanese reuse bath water, either for other bathers or for washing laundry, so it is important not to dirty the water with soap and dirt. Dirty portions of the body can be washed before stepping into the bath. Let's make the city clean and fresh. A clean and fresh city will surely make the inhabitants healthy. Every morning especially in dry season, all roads must be watered with clean water and swept by the workers of regional government under the mayor's instruction. To protect people from heavy pollution caused by cars, trucks and motorcycles, enough trees must be planted along the roads. Every building or house in the city must be surrounded by short and small trees which bear colorful flowers.
Bad and improper habits which cause disadvantages, such as smoking and throwing rubbish anywhere should be stopped at once. The city mayor will have to think over the way to educate people, so they realize how important cleanliness and health are. More public lavatories are badly needed. It will be wise if the city mayor decides a certain amount of fine to be paid by those who break the government regulation on cleanliness matter. For example, a man who urinates not at a lavatory, smokes not at a smoking room or throws rubbish at the roads should be fined. Besides dirtying the environment with cigarettes butts, smoking will also cause pollution and bad lung diseases to other people. So, bad habits and impolite attitudes should be immediately stopped, otherwise the city will be dirty, unhealthy, badly polluted and will never attract foreign and domestic tourists as well. Whales Whales are the largest animals on the earth. Bigger than elephants, they may grow 95 feet long, and weigh 150 tons. A baby blue whale, just born, can be 23 feet long and weigh 3 tons. Although whales live in the oceans and swim like fish, they are not fish. They are mammals, like cows and elephants. Unlike fish they bear young alive, not as eggs. Their babies live on their mother's milk. They breathe through their lungs and hold their breath when they go underwater. If they cannot come to the surface to breathe fresh air, they will drown. They are warm-blooded. Fish, however, lay eggs, breathe oxygen in the water, and are cold-blooded. Whales live in all the ocean, in the winter some of them go to warm waters to breed and in the summer most of them go to cold waters to feed. There are two kinds of whales, whales with teeth tooted whales and whales without teeth baleen whales. The toothed whales eat fish and squid, which they can catch with their teeth, although they swallow their food without chewing it. The baleen whales eat plankton, small sea animals and plants. When they find plankton, they open their mouth and swallow the plankton. Whales have few enemies. Only human and killer whale attack whales. And whales do not seem to fight among themselves. They usually live from 20 to 30 years. Watabuhan is a lively unique cave. In the cave NYI, Mrs. Kamiyam and Key, Mr. Padmo sit on a stone. NYI Kamiyam will sing a song and Key Padmo will beat the drum. Joining them are people called Wiyogo which are drummers and other gamelan musicians. What makes this unique is that they mix gamelan with the sound of nature. The visitors dance. Forgetting all problems. Many tourists go to this cave. Maybe you are interested in going there too. But you don't know where it is. Watabuhan TS located near Paisidan in East Java. It is situated in a lime hill called Tapa, in Tabuhan, Warang village. The route is easy. Along the road there is beautiful tropical scenery to enjoy rice fields, coconut palms and birds. East of the cave peddlers sell souvenirs. The drink and food peddlers are on the north. People sell agates on the cave terraces. Somehow, it is like a fair. It is said that the cave is the only place where nature produces sounds like the music of gamelan. NYI Kamiyam, the well-down Pesendan, traditional Javanese singer, from the village of Gabuhan, who often sings in the cave, does not doubt it. Watabuhan did not use to welcome visitor. According to Kartao Rio, 90, village elder, Watabuhan used to be a hiding place for robbers. It was believed to be a sacred place. No one dared go inside. However, Wedana, chief of a district Kurtadiproho, went to the cave to find out what was wrong. He found out that the cave was inhabited by the annoying evil spirits. The people chased the spirits away. The cave is dark, so people need light, and a local guide will lead the way. Sometimes visitors bump their heads against the sharp rocks on the ceiling. Inside the cave there is a plain. Big stone which is believed to be the prayer mat of Pangaran de Ponegoro, one of the Indonesia heroes who fought against the Dutch. It is said that Pangaran de Ponegoro used to seclude himself in the cave. Some people now use the place for meditation. There is a stream in the cave, in the east corner, which can only be seen outside. However, it can be heard from inside. Besides the cave, Watukarang, a beach nearby, is good to visit. 
By the way, want different souvenirs? You can find them in Donorojo village where agate craftsmen work. So, have a nice journey. Bali action. Pollution.